Good morning folks, today we're reviewing a 1995 Ducati 900SS SP and as you can see this bike is in very good condition my uncle bought it from I think one of the original owners or one of the very very few owners it does have a little bit of engine work done uh, it has some head porting, has some cams so we're close to 100 crank horsepower on this bike and uh, this bike being a 95 it is carbureted and we can see she's only got 26,000 miles and boy is she clean got some carbon bits, got an exhaust on it, she sounds great cue the b-roll Alrighty, first impressions. I mean, definitely a little bit cramped, but not too bad. Uh, got that classic Ducati sound, got the dry clutch. Yes, sirree. Now, unfortunately, we're gonna be riding towards the sun, guys. I apologize. This is my uncle. He's on a Ducati Scrambler, which we're also gonna be doing a review on. Ooh, sounds good, boys. Initial impressions is this pretty aggressive seating position feels like a sport bike to be honest uh, I guess that was the point of this bike you know back in the day I probably should have done more research on this bike but anyways we're gonna go get some gas guys I'm gonna shut the camera off and uh, when we get out to Dove Valley Road I'll go ahead and give my feedback on the bike all right guys we're cruising on the freeway at about 80 the speedo is definitely fast I just want to get a quick impression of the freeway this bike is actually on the freeway pretty comfortable you know, now that I'm on the freeway and going a little faster and I got the wind holding me up a little bit, the seating position doesn't seem all that aggressive anymore. It actually seems pretty comfortable. And uh, we're cruising at about 4,000 RPM, so, I mean, the gearing is definitely perfect for just chilling. I mean, it'll go to nine grand. All right, guys, we're out here on this road and we got a little traffic up here, so I can give you some quick feedback. I mean, the motor on this bike is so lovely. It's just so playful. I mean, you could just roll into it and it's got, it's got a, got a little bit of punch down low and then when you downshift oh it sounds so good and so far I've been in the saddle for about half an hour or so and it's pretty comfortable the seat isn't too bad the riding position isn't so aggressive that you feel like you need to get off it immediately this is a great bike if I could compare it to any other v-twin sport tour type of bike I would say it's like a SV6, it's in between a SV650 and a SV1000 if they had better suspension and better brakes. That's what it feels like. It's got more torque and more get up than an SV, but it doesn't have quite the top end pull of the SV1000. So far, I'm really enjoying this motorcycle, everybody. Um, in about another half hour or so, we're going to hit the twisties here, and uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright boys, we're out at the twisties. I'm not going to be talking too much while we're hitting the curves. Again, this is not my motorcycle, so I'm not going to be pushing the envelope here. But uh, I'm going to hit the twisties and then I'll give you guys the thoughts on the bike. thrust out of the corners Up for the turns and down for the straights.
This shifter's in the wrong position. I can't clutch the shift it. It's too close to the kickstand. Okay guys, that's the main part of the twisties. I gotta say, I really find this bike very enjoyable. I see why people become Ducatistas. It's a very enjoyable bike to ride. It has enough power to get you in trouble, but not so much that the bike's way too fast. I mean, I think this is about the perfect amount of power. These bikes come from the factory with about 80 horsepower. And I think this is the perfect power level. 80 to 100 horsepower on a 400-ish pound bike is that, that sweet spot. But they're just, they're just so good, dude. So enjoyable to ride. So enjoyable to ride. There's just something to be said about a an old an old classic Desma Do V twin. We'll hop off the bike and take a final look at it. I'm waiting on my uncle. He's riding on the Ducati Scrambler, which I'm gonna be on in just a short minute here. And hopefully he made it through okay. But uh, I will say this bike is a little difficult to find neutral. Um, I think that's the case with a lot of uh, a lot of motorcycles in general. Um, again, seeing position really good. All right, boys. Final thoughts on this bike. It is a extremely enjoyable motorcycle to ride. I see why these. I see why people get uh, kind of obsessed with Ducatis. They're very enjoyable bikes to ride. This one in particular, I think, is the perfect bike if you're the, at the intermediate or even advanced skill level. I mean, I think anybody will find this bike really fun to ride. Uh, the brakes are really good. The motor is a gem to ride, and uh, it's a it's a great sounding classic motorcycle. And uh, it's still it, the looks still hold up even today. So. Uh, I think you can't go wrong with the Ducati 900 or even the 800 SS. So uh, if you see one of these pop up for sale and you're wondering how good they are, they are excellent. That's going to be all for this one, folks. Look forward to the next review on the Scrambler Cafe Racer. Peace out, folks.